Okay, so the article opens up talking about the people who had died. Got sure. the Sheeta and the names. Four known suicides by officers. Here's their names. Okay, and then it just jumps into talking about the testimony in Dunn and the attack. So if you look into Dunn and what happened there, basically what happened was they were called lots of racial slurs by crazy racist Trump supporters. And he said, I don't normally get political when I'm doing my job, but um, the people were saying, we just want, this is our house. This is our house. We won that election. Biden didn't win. And he said, I told them, oh, I voted for Biden. Does my vote not count? And that's when they started calling him the N-word and then beat him and said, kill him with his own gun and trauma. And, and that's terrible. That's, that's really terrible. terrible. Yeah. That's traumatizing. But the four guys that killed themselves are not done or any of the black people that received the racial treatment. It was four white guys. Right. So you see how this article combines the two to spin the one narrative so you don't question the suicides because they're all suffering from trauma because racist Trump supporters. Sure. Black. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't. A, Absolutely. There, it wasn't black people that killed themselves. It was they were all white guys. That's who this guy was that I just showed you was one of the guys. Um, this guy, uh, Defray Tag. Tag. Yeah, Defray Tag, from what I understand. He responded to the insurrection and worked a later shift. I think he was hit in the head if it was this guy. Was found deceased last evening. Yeah, so here's another guy that was killed. Hashida, not a black guy. Um, and there's the other two that were killed, not black guys. Yeah. Yeah. And Dunn is uh, the black guy that, that was... Uh, Accosted. Had, yeah, accosted. So it's just it. the likelihood that all of these guys are killing themselves. I think they're being suicided. Yeah. I mean, what's the whole point of this January, like of them analyzing this January 6th insurrection so hard? I mean, to me, it's to the conspiracy would be that. They're going to use this as an excuse to further monitor the American people and have powers to uh, quell domestic terrorism. And that's what they'll label it, domestic terrorist. And it's just going to be a further infringement on our rights. They'll be able to censor you uh, if they consider you uh, as someone who's a domestic terrorist who might be speaking out against their agenda. Uh, they it could get to the point where they can... Uh, round you up and fucking arrest you uh, just based on things you might post online. Like to me, that's where all this stuff's going. That's why they're analyzing that. That's why they're the, instead of focusing on governing, they're looking to this January 6th as if it's the worst thing that's ever happened in U S history. And it's being, I'm not saying it wasn't bad, right? Like what happened to that officer done probably shouldn't, well, it shouldn't happen to anybody. Right, that's terrible. But is it the, is it the civil war? I don't think so. You know, um, whether were there a lot of shady things that happen, like officers letting those people, like opening the barricades and stuff, and letting them in, um, that's questionable. Yeah, absolutely. So to me, this this feels like some sort of conspiracy that's just going to allow them to further infringe on our our privacy and our rights. What what are you pulling up here? A, f a fifth article. That's kind of a side note. The lag in my computer causes me to make bad clicks, and then I have to wait for it to compensate. But I agree with what you were saying about how this is being spun in a way <clears throat> to feed that narrative to accomplish those end goals of the intelligence agency and further control of America based on false flags and things that are debunked and things like that. And this was just connected to it. The guy who they said it was a police officer who said um, he was hit in the head and was fine. But 
people were like, well, what the fuck are you saying? Because isn't this you? Oh, yeah. It's a big thing. Did you see that? Yep, I did see that. That's yeah, why I was I, I, okay. I, I, I saw that picture and it looked familiar. I was like, that. But I, that's. Uh, I just brought up how it was uh, debunked by fact checkers. And I think it's hilarious that the fact checking is coming from Reuters. And there's like these three main corporation establishments that are our fact checkers, like PolitiFact. Snopes has been debunked. I think there's a third one. And then Reuters. And I just think it's so hilarious that people just take the easy route and go to these fact checking sources and just see what they say. Be like, oh, nope, it's bullshit. Because fundamentally, what fact checking is, is you checking the facts. So whether you go and get the facts from a fact checker or a journalist, it's still your duty when the ball is in your court with the information to fact check it. Like in no way does deferring to an establishment fact checker do the job of fact checking. Do you see what I'm saying? Like so, they've. So what did the fact checkers say about this? Oh, it's one? been debunked, and it wasn't him, and they found another guy. How, but how do they debunk it? Like, what was the? Because they, they looked identical. Whenever they had the, whenever yeah. I saw the photos side by side, that guy looked I, like it was his twin. Like, what? What are the chances you have like a doppelganger that just shows up that looks identical to you on January sixth? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't really read much into it. I just wanted to bring the article up to show that that conspiracy was apparently debunked. Just to bring some balance to the conversation. But also yeah. point out that, like, do you get what I'm saying? How they've redefined what fact-checking is? Yeah, for sure. For dumb people. Because if you go to PolitiFact, have you ever been to PolitiFact? Oh, a few times, yeah. It's the corniest shit. It's like a animated steamboat looking gauge with an arrow that says red or green mostly false mostly true it's like this is right. how people are going to fact check and they think that they're doing a job of fact checking it's like you're just doing the same thing anybody does when they read a headline and then doesn't fact check like, true. like you can't get away from fact checking even if you go to a fact checker you still gotta research it to fact check the people are like, ah, oh, the arrows in the green. So, and then Reuters, ah, oh, debunked. And then I haven't even read this article, but I just think it's so funny that fact-checking establishments exist, and it's okay to people. It's just I, yeah. I, 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 I can't wrap my head around that concept. Like it can't. It's logically impossible for a fact-checking establishment to exist. Because you're still responsible for fact-checking the information you take in. I mean, I could see it maybe not positioned as a fact-checking uh, establishment, but uh, hey, here are the counter-arguments to the to the points being made in this particular article, right? And if you have well, like a... this is why I'm calling it fact-check from Reuters, because the original article is called Fact-Check DC officer Michael Fanone was not pictured carrying Confederate flag capital seed. So his name is Michael Fanone, and apparently the guy indicted was something Seafried. Kevin so. Kevin Seafried. Yeah, but Reuters fact checks all the time. It's like a, an official verb. It's like bootylicious in the dictionary now. Like fact check is this new thing. It's like, how does this become a thing unless you redefine what fact checking is to people who just want to suck the teat of an empire? And I'm not saying fact-checking sites are wrong, but it's fundamentally wrong to simply defer to it and move on. Yeah. And that's how they get you, because maybe they won't really fact-check. They'll just kind of dismiss it, and then everyone will be like... Uh, you saw, they fact-checked it. That was just the, that was debunked, and they just read the headline part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they didn't actually go in and... Yeah. I don't think this one has pictures. It did. The, it did. Uh, of the guy. The other one did, but not of the original officer. It had pictures of who was indicted. Kevin Seafried. Yeah, so um, anyway, to wrap up that section, a bunch of white cops killed themselves, and it so seamlessly went into the trauma of the black cops who did not kill themselves. And now everyone's up in arms about the insurrection of January 6th, which we know... FBI officers led the way. 
as in the same way they led the way for that uh, kidnapping of Gretchen Whitmer in the same way they, they yes. led the way yes. uh, in having that kid detonate that fake bomb and arrest him. So, yeah, it's yeah. point tell pro it's false flags. It's it's in one of its many forms. And no one gives a shit. No one on the news is talking about any of this stuff. Yeah. No, one. no one. 